what would you find value in paying 10 grand a month for then? Very good. Very, very good. Very, 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 very. Hey, is this Steven? Hey, is this Steven? Yes, this is him. Awesome, Steven. So my name's Caleb. I was just reaching out to see like if you had ever thought about or if you have ever hired like a coach. I'm doing like a research project and I'm trying to figure out like if realtors find value in hiring like mindset coaches at all or not. Uh, I personally don't. I think it's kind of a waste of money. I mean, it's like you're going to do your job or you're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how I, I think. I don't, I don't see... You know, and I'm completely different, but I don't see people paying, you know, people paying five, ten grand a month with the, for a person to tell you to work. <laughs> I think it's pretty stupid. Yeah, it sounds like you're already pretty self-motivated yourself. Yeah, no, um, I have my business, I do 40, 30, 30 or 40 deals a year every year, so. Yeah. I'm not too about it. Yeah, you're not the ideal, I guess, person that would be able to do this because, like, you already have that, and it's just, like, the people that need it the most are the people that aren't even picking up with their phones. So I'm just, like, where, like, how does this how does this work, per se? It's very strange to me. Yeah, I've, uh, I, I don't understand it. It's, I think it's really dumb. Well, it's, I had a guy that, I had a guy paying a guy 10 grand a month, and he's our team lead, and he's not my team leader anymore, let's say that. Uh, but he, uh, he couldn't, he couldn't pay for sure because he was paying that. And the guy was literally telling him the same freaking thing every week. Literally. <laughs> the same thing. And I'm like, bro, this is fucking pathetic. And you're paying 10 grand a month for this? Yeah. It's pretty sad. But, yeah, and I just don't understand that either. I'm just like, why would... It, but then, it, like, maybe he was telling the same thing every week because that lead wasn't changing. Like, that would be my only, like, thing that I could think of at that point in time. I'm like, the dude just doesn't know how to do what he needs to do yeah well he, he was pretty good at listening to him and all that i will say uh, but he was more worried about recruiting agents rather than actually doing production and mm. that's what screwed him and um you know i just don't like i think it's pretty sad that you have to pay someone to put you in a mindset to work or make money at, and when you're spending like you're telling me I have to do you're paying them 10 grand a month you have to do an extra deal a month just to pay for a coach like to me that's stupid so then what what would what would you find value in paying 10 grand a month for then if you don't mind my asking uh fucking leads ads um I, I would pay for ads and like so I'm, I I I I I, I work with fix and flip. I do fix and flips as well as regular agents. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, like, I've already paid two, three grand for um, a guy. He's running all this stuff, like, email wise. And then once I get those targets and all that data back, whoever we, whoever was engaged in the target, uh, we start producing Instagram, Facebook ads directed toward them to, you know, to find picture up or things like that. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, that is way more, uh, you know, valuable. You can, yeah. Oh, wait, one hundred percent. You can make. You can do two deals a month wholesale and it makes forty, fifty grand a month. Right. So you can make twenty grand on a deal every single time. You know, or you can make a hundred grand on a deal. So, like, to me, that's that's the best way to go about things. And or pay or honestly, ten grand a month. Shit, I'll pay it a fucking. I'll pay an assistant five grand a month. To do everything for me. Like to me, those are the two two main things. Like if I had ten grand to put away, I would put five grand into ads and and lead gen, and five grand a month to an assistant that literally runs all your back end stuff for you. And then you are able to double your business, uh, you know, without having to do any of that stuff. Yeah, and with that lead gen as well too. Like, would you pay a service cost? for like somebody to run the ads for you or is that something yeah, where it's just I, like I do that already okay yeah gotcha so it's like 500 bucks a month but he said you know more ads you know more money more ads but like he has a guy running I think uh, I think he pays like 1500 a month to to run ads Facebook and Instagram and he gets he does 15 15 wholesale deals a month 
Yeah, I mean, that's a, it pays for itself at that point in time then. Yeah, it's like coaching's stupid. I, I think it's fine. Yeah, I've noticed a couple of those lead gen agencies as well, too, because I've talked with a couple of different realtors, and then some of them are like, yo, I want more leads, and then others are like, we have too many leads, and then other people are like, I need help coaching, and there's not professionalism in the industry. So it's like there's these two, like, fine lines, because apparently it only takes, like, 164 hours to get your real estate license or something like that, and people just don't understand, like, the intricacies, I guess, of the actual sales process, basically. Mm -hmm which is fascinating to me. But yeah, no, I appreciate you sharing that with me, man. Um, the 10K, that's something for me to keep in mind because like, if you say like if it was $10,000 for a lead gen or something like that, and let's say one person is just like, okay, the service fee is 5,000 and you're spending 5,000 on ads. Is that a value to you or no? Uh, I would rather do that. Yeah. And like, I, I, like I said, I pay, if I had 10 grand just sitting every month, so I, if I have 120 grand just sitting there ready to use, I would spend the half on Half on an assistant, half on that, half on the job. Okay, because yeah, I'm I'm also under the impression too. So you'd rather hire somebody to do it than learn it yourself, then? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. And then if do you want the would you want the leads to be qualified as well too? Like when they come in, like the lead gen agency is like vetting the people and be like, hey, is this an actual, is this person actually qualified for the work that I'm looking to do? Oh, for sure. Awesome. That'd be preferred. Cool. I was just going to over again, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, those VAs, dude, like they save so much time and energy and everything like that. It's just. It's like you don't even need a VA. You can literally, I can just literally hire an actual assistant that I know, like a trust, and they can do all my backing stuff, all my all my CR, CRM, all my touch points, um, all my marketing, everything like that. And you're paying them 60 grand a year to do that. Like, stay at home moms could do that all day. Yeah. Because all the back end stuff, so it's just the marketing, it's the CRM, it's the follow ups, I'm guessing as well. It's like the automation to be able to make sure that everybody's getting touched in the way that they need to. Yeah. That's correct. And do you know, do you know, would you ever consider using AI as well to make something like that happen? Or uh, no? I, I'm like a nine year old when it comes to <laughs> electronics, so, um, and I'm only 30, but um, yeah, I, 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 you know, I would love AI to run it. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. I mean, that's that's my whole thing. I'm like, they have co- whole like AI call automation things to be able to reach out and like to qualify leads, mm-hmm. and it's crazy with what they can do nowadays. So I might have to reevaluate some of the research that I'm that I'm following up on right now and see what's more valuable to to you because like I just want to solve your problem in the best way that I possibly can. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey, Stephen, I don't I don't want to take a more much more of your time. That's basically all the questions that I had off the top of my head that I can and had written down. So. I appreciate you sharing that with me. And if anything comes up AI based or something like that, I might circle back with you and see if that's something you might be interested in. Cool. Awesome. Well, Hey, I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.